Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and uh, for that reason in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread as well as I'm going to try to give you a few examples here and there so I can make my uh, or I can get my points across but ultimately uh, you will have to align your situation with the reading because uh, this reading is going to as general one is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Scorpio and uh, if you want me to do that for you or to in other words to analyze your uh, your situation through tarot and to give you prediction for your future then that will be uh, a, a subject for a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so that set aside, this is going to be a uh, general, um, this is going to be an enhanced sorrow reading, excuse me guys, uh, a bit tired here. Um, which means that we're going to draw a additional card per position. And oh my, now I am kind of like, I don't know if I'm excited to be honest. Because uh, uh, what these cards are really pointing is that you Scorpio or we Scorpios are have huge potential, especially single, to finally get someone um, to love us. Or rather like, yeah, but basically to love us because there is a, a very big difference here, you know, because um, if we fall in love, it doesn't mean that it is not guaranteed that the other person is going to fall in love with us, all right? But here, what we see is that you, we, you Scorpio actually, or we Scorpio actually will have the, um, how can I place it really, the fortune to find a, a person who is going to give us their unconditional support and their unfolding love as well throughout this month. So how we are going to capitalize on it, well that depends on us and it doesn't have to be as well an intimate one but these cards are pointing that it's going to rather be an intimate one. However, uh, it may be a, a friendship one, you know, it could be that uh, we are going to find a, a very good friend that supports us through our uh, difficulties and etc etc. Anyway, going deeper with every single position we do have the star card on the first position which is the topic of our month followed by the lovers card it's just you know without even seeing it guys I can tell you that that is the thing I mean this is it man I mean it's kinda like uh, kinda excited here even though I'm a bit tired so what we do have, it's a, a long lasting harmony that you are going, that this is going to be the topic of your month and that will continue on for quite a lot of time further into the future uh, and uh, as I said lasting harmony it means that a lot of your problems as well uh, emotionally wise especially and for that matter as well career wise are going to be resolved throughout this month turmoils are going to end up here a, a era of uh, uh, what was the word here of insecurity, unpredictability as well, and in generally era which you kind of uh, lived day for a day where you tried to survive and etc etc is now over. Now what we do have here is truly something that uh, it gives you a long term goal, or rather like it gives you a fulcrum that you are going to focus on Scorpio here, and uh, in generally things are going to start getting better and better. Additionally, the star card with the lovers um, as a, a combo, it means that you will have such a faithful companion or you are going to find a, a such a faithful companion that you will have that unbreakable bond with this person. I don't know if it's going to be a, a love bond because the lovers card, even though it says true love, it kind of comes with a condition, all right? And I will try to explain you why. 
what we do have here uh, I will indulge a little bit with the lower scar guys so you can truly understand it because I know that many readers or whatever is telling you that this is this is it man and it's kind of like your soulmate is coming and etc etc but the symbols here uh, I will stop on the symbol of the mountain and the mountain usually means uh, delays or rather like challenges or it's kind of like here what we do have is that the mountain is separating the man from the woman and in this specific scene the mountain stands for um, how can I place it for spiritual differences so what that means is that this person that you are going to meet throughout this month uh, is going to be completely different from what you are they will have uh, different hobbies, they will have different interests, they will uh, kind of, sh you know, have a, a different routine as well, they will work a different job, and etc, etc, you know, and, or the, and, and as well they are going to um, spend time in different social circles from yours, and etc, etc, and yet, even though so completely different, uh, you are going to attract each other and that's the good thing I mean you will not be able to explain it they will not be able to explain it and mark my word guys you cannot under you cannot destroy what you do not understand all right so what you do not understand stands there lingers and it's untouchable it's unreachable for none so you can you can rest assured here uh, and you can kind of like rest humble that this person no one can take it away from you right and uh, additionally these cards are pointing that that is going to be a amount of decisions as a um, you know the bad times are now over and you can actually catch up your breath you will have to uh, decide where you are going to strive yourself forth from now on either career or relationship wise this decision is awaiting you and you will have to decide for yourself sh whatever you want to do i mean this this is it here with uh, with the decision with the lovers card is that you can uh, you can decide whatever you want but you got to live with that decision so uh, i would advise you here to take your time no rush for anything uh, just so you can have the full perspective of all the options available before you actually take on a, a specific uh, a specific decision moving forward the next card which is the intentions that you should uh, incorporate here is a complete change into your understanding of uh, of your environment the death card stands for change and what we do have here this is a, a passive supporter right to the death which means that um, generally what these cards are pointing that things which were uh, unfortunate in the past now can be changed and as i said here a lot of your problems from the past are going to be resolved so what we do have here is is the bridges that previously were broken now can be uh, rebuilt back again so if you have lost friend of yours for example back in the days for one or another reason uh, you can you can definitely make a reconciliation here with that friend of yours uh, if you had a, a dream that you could not reach back in the days now definitely through different circumstances you can make the things happen it's important with the death card however to aim for a, a brand new experience and a, a brand new era in your life you need to realize that this this is the end of a, a certain cycle of life right and you have to treat it that way for some of us Scorpius this combination will require from us to give away something all right something that does not serve us any longer it doesn't serve any purpose that could be our dead relationship it could be our dead uh, uh, job as well or dead friendships and etc etc and it's very important to do so even though we may find it a little bit emotionally disturbing here with the eight of cups because this is not going to be a, a easy separation or a easy um, kind of like parting ways all right but in the same time when when we uh, kind of sacrifice whatever is dead for us and we're just borrowing its time uh, we are going to clear a, a lot of room for ourselves for, so we can plant 
seeds for new life to grow. So if you have to give away from your current relationship here as you kind of like uh, realize that that relationship is dead and it, it doesn't go anywhere from now, that means that a new relationship is going to come in the framework of this month. All right. Or if you give away your job, a new job is going to come and even a better one. We are talking about a, a better substitute to what you had until this very moment. So don't be afraid here with these cards to give up on these things uh, which are currently in your on your are on your plaza, which are serving just as a dead weight. All right. And nothing, nothing else. So the next card that we do have, this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles and this is the challenges which is causing predicaments with the Empress card. That is a little bit of a peculiar situation and it does represent the security you would want on your behalf in order to make a certain, um, certain initiation or rather like to... Um, to give up or to sacrifice those things which are already dead. And under a security, I mean that you will kind of like want for yourself or from universe for that matter to give you warranties that if you have to give away, give up from your relationship, all right, your dead relationship, uh, you are going to start one straight away. I don't know if it's going to be straight away guys, but definitely is going to be quite soon here. And what these cards are pointing is that no matter how how secure you try to be, you cannot be a 100% secure all the time. So sometimes with these cards you have to uh, kind of like place yourself into uncomfortable situation or in, or of uh, uncomfortable uh, position as well. You have to step outside of your comfort zone because because stepping outside of your comfort zone means growth. And don't forget here the topic is all about new heights. It's all about new eras in one life. It's all about a unconditional support and true love as well. So uh, and as I said, the true love is going to come as a someone that it is completely different. That on its own is big risk that people are taking. You know, kind of like involving yourself with someone that is that doesn't share anything with you that you have nothing in common and yet you know uh, you are kind of attracting one another that is quite beautiful take it as the Ian and Yan all right so Ian and Yan are two perfectly uh, opposites and they collide right and they make one whole so they are different <clears throat> and they are completely different and yet perfectly uh, opposing and kind of like they are creating the circle, the wholeness. So it's kind of like with you and uh, uh, this will be the situation with you and it is important not to be biased, it is important here not to think over thinking it way too much all right and what these cards are pointing is that the best is yet to come all right so you should not be biased based on the current circumstances although the current circumstances it seems that they are going to be quite good. Or quite beneficial. One thing is very important here to be acknowledged is that it is um, imperative that you Scorpio or we Scorpios are mature or rather like we approach this new era in our life with a high sense of maturity and as well uh, we need to be accountable for our decisions all right for our decision making just like I said uh, we will have to bear the consequences for whatever we decide although we are going to have here the luxury to decide whatever we want right and the Empress here points that because we're going to have that power, this luxury, we may do the premature decision here. So that what that is important to uh, take your time, all right, and to scale all of the options available that you do have in front of you or that we do have in front of us. And... Uh, to take on this part which serves us best. The next card that we do have, this is going to be the Two of Wands, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to us. And then we do have the Nine of Cups. 
active enemies according to the elemental dignities and what these cards are pointing is that you can be in so much greater heights that you are right now I mean you think that you are happy with this position alright well you just wait to see what the future have in store with for you I mean this is completely new land for you to conquer this is completely new world that you are entering in and that's why it is important here always to be open for everything new especially if that new thing it is a, a thing that you haven't experienced yet all right these cards as a guidance is asking you Scorpio to seek such kind of experience that you never touched until this very moment you never had the luxury you know to um, to involve yourself in until this very moment uh, now nine of uh, cups here it is pointing to this particular statement I meant that uh, the ultimate happiness or rather like the ultimate uh, emotional fulfillment it's far from achieved so if you are feeling, as I said, happy right now throughout the month that you found the person you were seeking for, you found the job that you wanted and etc, etc. All in general, a very difficult problems for your behalf, which seemed, um, you know, unresolvable, are starting to resolve on, on their own accord and kind of like everything start, is starting again to become harmonious in your life and etc, etc. As I said, you just wait to see what the future has in store for you. And it will be shame, guys, if you satisfy yourself just with the current uh, position or with the current situation. What these cards are asking you to do is to demand more for your life, for yourself, from the universe is basically they are asking you to believe that you do deserve more however deserving and achieving are two different things and in order to achieve what you deserve you have to start improving yourself so you always have to continue on uh, with these couple of cards you need to seek how you should polish your skills if we're talking about career wise you to polish the methods of flirting or for example of showing how much you love the person next to you and etc etc as well to polish uh, you know your communicational skills and so on and so forth and uh, finally here we are coming to the last card which is the Queen of Cups that will be the final outcome uh, with uh, the Six of Wands and what these couple of cards are showing here is that the uh, the slow motion of uh, how can I place it the, the slow motion of development is going to start speeding up exponentially alright so what we do have here is just the very start of this new era of your life alright and from there at the end of the month things are gonna start speeding up faster and faster for example if this is a about relationship thing entering in that relationship things are going to move on crazy fast and uh, you will have one peak of experience after another and don't say don't get me wrong for what it seems this whatever you are to experience here is going to be I uh, quite amusing right and it's it, you will kind of feel quite blessed these cards at the end however are pointing that somehow your sense of keeping secrets or rather like your sense of personal integrity may be compromised so uh, you have to maintain your um, sobriety it is what I'm trying to say you should not uh, drunk yourself with the success that you are going to accomplish uh, throughout this month or rather you should not believe that these things are going to sustain themselves on their own accord that good fortune is going to sustain itself on its own accord because it's one thing to uh, meet the person that you uh, hoped for it is another thing to enthrall them and to keep them by your side all right so that is that these are two different things what I'm trying to say here is just because you're gonna meet them 
It doesn't mean that you are going to live happily ever after. You have to do what is necessary in order to secure such kind of future. You can definitely do so, as I said, but you need to polish your skills, as I said, of flirting, of uh, communicational skills as well, if you want as well, skills to make compromises and etc, etc. And it's because that person, as I said, is going to be very different from you. It will take quite a time of alignment here and a lot of compromises, but at the end your love is going to be pure and true in case we're talking about love all right so uh literally this is what happens at the end uh what one speed up of the process of the situation where the rewards are coming one after another and it's going to be shame um once again if you scorpio does not keep up with your performance and you basically um, lose grasp or rather lose control upon this good fulcrum long-term goal long-term relationship long-term career job or etc etc that it is offered to you so that being said Scorpio this was your monthly tarot reading for February 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it I enjoyed it uh, quite a lot here uh, I don't know uh, to be honest I don't know how this is going to manifest itself for me um, it could be related to my career, it could be related to um, to my personal life, I don't know yet. But I'm quite quite excited and I am quite looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, that was uh, your tarot reading and as it was general one, uh, I explained you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately at the end you will have to align your personal situations just as I did for the examples in this video. Now, if you want me to do that for you or to analyze your personal situation through tarot and to give you predictions for it for the future, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.